So for these seven marks that we are given, we want to see if we are able to obtain this part. All right, so this was a typical exam question on our algebraic expressions on question number five. You are given 5.1 in the expression, in this expression that you are given, okay? 5.11, write down the coefficient of x cubed the coefficient of x to the exponent of 3. So you must consider that the coefficient of x to the exponent of 3 is the number that is multiplying there, the number which is minus 3. So there, the coefficient was going to be a minus 3. What is the value of the constant term? Remember, the constant is where... We do not have a variable. We do not have any letter there. So the constant was going to be minus 25. With its sign, the number must have its sign. So that is minus 25. All right. Simplify on 5.2. You are given. Simplify. 5.21, 3y squared minus 10y squared. So that is our 5. 0.21. So there we have got 3y squared minus 10y squared. So these are like terms. Same exponent that we are given on the letter on the letter y. So we can simply subtract the coefficients 3 minus 10, which is minus 7y squared. Just like that. Okay. Just for one mark, guys. Okay. Then 5.22, you're given. Okay. Let's see what we get there. That is 10m to the exponent of 6n minus 6m squared n plus 4m to the exponent of 4n. Everything that we are given there is divided to, uh, this is 2m to the exponent of 4n squared, like that. All right. So remember, in the simplification that you are supposed to consider whenever you have got a single term, meaning to say we are dealing with a monomial that you have, you are going to divide every term that you have on the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so this can be separated each term. The part of 10m to the exponent of 6n divided to the denominator, which is 2m to the exponent of 4n squared, minus 6m squared n divided to the same denominator, which is 2m, to the exponent of 4, uh, that is uh, n squared. We also separate this. So this is plus 4m to the exponent of 4, n over what we are given in the denominator, which is 2m to the exponent of 4, n squared. All right. So this is where we are. This is the stage where we are. And here we must be careful because they, we must be able to separate whatever that we can. All right, so this is it. We can divide the numbers, the two into 10, which is gonna be a five, uh, 10 divided by two, which is five. So take note, guys. There are, how many M's that we have? There are six. And here, how many do we have? There are four. So these four into these ones, which are six, how many are we going to remain with? We are going to remain with only two of the M on top. Then that n that we have, there is only one n on top. Then there are two of them in the denominator because this is the same as n times n. So you can cancel one n with one n, meaning to say we are going to remain with one n in the what? In the denominator, guys. Take note, the n there is going to remain in the denominator. Minus, we do the same thing. Let's cancel here. The 2 into th uh, 6, that's a 3, all right? So we have got, uh, we're going to also have a fraction here. So that will be 3. Uh, then let's consider the M. There are two of them here. Here there are 4. So if you cancel, you're going to remain with the 2 in the denominator. Here there's only 1 N. Here there are 2. You cancel, there's going to be only 1 N that you remain with in the denominator. So this will be M squared N. So we are going to have 3. Um, minus 3m squared n. We move on to this other part. That's a plus. We divide the two 
and this, that will be a 2. The m to the power of 4, the m to the power of 4, they are the same. They cancel. But take note, the n is not the same because this is 1, and yet they are 2. Just like what I explained here, this 1 will cancel to these ones. We remain with the 1 n there. So meaning to say we were going to have the 2 on top, everything over 1 times n, which is 2 over n. So you must consider that we were not going to have just only a 2, but it was going to be 2 over n because there is 1 n, and here there are 2 of them. So you need to separate each and every term. That is it, guys, okay? You need to separate each and every term that you are given, then divide. So in basic questions, we, we understand those basic ones that you just relate, then you divide normal. It can be like this. So revise as many question papers so that you understand how are they going to ask these questions at the end. All right, the last question we are given, again, was to simplify this. There is a minus there. So we're given minus 4x squared plus 7x plus 8. All right, that's 5.23. Minus, what are we subtracting? This whole bracket that you're given, which is minus 3x squared minus, x squared, uh, minus 8x minus 9. So this is it. So what you can simply do is to distribute, to expand the brackets. There is a number outside, even if it is invisible. There is a one that we have. There is a minus one that we have. So we can distribute by these numbers outside. Minus uh, one times minus four, that's minus four X squared, one and seven, that will be positive seven X, one and eight, that's a positive eight. Then to the negative one, it's going to be negative one to a negative, that's a positive 3x squared. A negative one to a negative, that's a positive 8x. A negative one to a negative, that's a positive 9. So from this, you can now consider the like terms, the part of x squared, this part, can be related to the part of 3x squared. These are like terms that you can also consider. Then also you can consider the part of 7x here and also 8x, all right? The constants, the 8 and the 9, these are the constants. So let's add and see what we're going to have. Let's simplify actually. So there we have got uh, minus 4x squared to 3x squared. So it's minus 4 plus 3, minus 4 plus 3, which is minus 1. So that is going to be minus x squared, minus 1 x squared is same as minus x squared. All right, we move on to the part of uh, x. There is 7x and 8x here. So we're going to add the numbers 7 and 8. So if we add 7 plus 8, that is going to be 15x. So that's 15x. The constants on their own, the 8 and the 9 together. So you're going to add 8 plus 9, which is a 17. So this is what you are going to have at the end. And this cannot be simplified. These are not like terms. Remember, you have to consider the like terms. So guys, for 7 marks, I think that is enough that you can actually obtain these marks. So we shall revise uh, this part and work with our algebraic equations in the later classes.